So in this video, I'm going to tackle trying to get rid of that big piece of pegboard, which is mostly a place to hang all of my saws. So stick around. I'm Michael, and this is Maker of Play. I continue to want to improve the storage on my French clean wall behind me. One of the things I enjoy doing in my workshop is to continue to organize it. I want everything to be more efficient. I have come to the conclusion that I do not like any of my tools or anything to be behind cabinet doors or inside drawers. I like everything to be out and visible so I can see what all of the, everything that I have, as well as I can easily access what I need. I can quickly go and grab a tool. I can quickly survey the landscape and see what tools are out of place or missing. And so continuing with that, I've gone with a fridge clean system on my back wall. And I continue to create custom tool holders for to fill up that wall with all of my tools. I also really hate pegboard. So as you see on my wall, I've got two pieces of pegboard that I added French cleats to to put up there just temporarily as I continue to create new tool organizers. So in this video, I'm going to tackle trying to get rid of that big piece of pegboard, which is mostly a place to hang all of my saws. So I'm going to try to build a Fritch cleat tool organizer to organize all of my saws. I also believe that by changing the orientation of how the saws are stored, it'll take up much less space than it currently does on that pegboard. So here are the seven saws that were hanging on that pegboard behind me. My thoughts are is find a way to organize that they're all being stored on edge. So as a student example here, they're all oriented this direction and they should take up less space. The challenge though is going to be since they're all different sizes, what kind of structure can we create that'll hold them in place? I'm thinking so a board across the top that will have slots that the blade will at least go into to hold them upright. And I'm going to figure out across the bottom some sort of shelf that they rest on. So we're just making this up as we go. We'll see how it turns out. We're going to make the tool holder 12 inches wide by 20 inches tall. So we start by ripping our plywood to 12 inches. Here's the final product. So I've got a French cleat that I've got my seven saws on. So they all stack vertically with about a one to one and a half inch spacing between them. So we end up with 
12 inches by 20 inches. It's all board. A couple things I learned along the way is I ended up having to put a raise this board up in order to give more of a pivot point towards the back of the handles on the saws to give them a little bit more of a lean into so they wouldn't fall out. Now that being said, well this one still is not very balanced well. So if I was to uh, start over again, I would probably make this, the bottom shelf, a little deeper so that way this bar would be a little further out to create even a little bit more of a slant to lean back into the wall. Also, on my coping saw, it worked out that it could hang fairly well, but I ended up drilling a hole for that little piece right there to fit into so that it holds it on there and doesn't slide out. So the coping saw and the hacksaw were the two that was giving me the most trouble since they don't have a very big blade. They weren't very stable side to side, but the hacksaw ended up rusting fairly well on the bottom shelf here, so it stays in place pretty good. Hope you like this project. If you're so inclined, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. So what I like...